Hello and welcome to the unofficial Beaux-Jours Senior Hockey League podcast, the championship edition. Yep. Um, Corey, I'm joined by I'm joined by my co-host Corey, my good friend Corey, as always. And, as uh, always, I am, I am your host, Corey. Um, how are you feeling today after last night, Corey? Um, emotionally exhausted. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, it was a uh, a hell of an experience last night. I mean, we 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 felt it last year as fans when the Hawks won the BSHL trophy from by beating the JCs, but there was something about this series knowing that we were a little piece of this league, um, people wanting us to go on the ice with the camera, uh, the Marauders wanting us to go on the ice with the camera. Um, I don't know. It was a humbling experience and uh, something that I will never forget. Absolutely. That's a very fair statement. Um, let's run down the game real quick. It was a it was a really good game, man. It was a fun very game good to game. watch. Game six, the final game of the season. The Dalhousie Marauders win the BSHL Cup, beating the River Valley Lumberjacks four to two in game six. Four games to two. <laughs> four games to two. Four to two. There you go. There you Never go. noticed that. <laughs> uh, Dalhousie goal scorers: Robert Peltier, one goal, two points. Jonathan Doucette, one goal. Um, the website I think messed up again. The website says Jeremy Doucet one goal. I'm almost I, – I literally just saw the goal. It's Vincent Chavez's goal, yep. uh, but I'm going to put both guys' names there. Uh, Alex Be- Beaulieu, one goal. Uh, Joey Bernard, two assists. And um, River Valley's Patrick Daly, two goals. And John Hardy, two assists. Um, and our playoff MVP was? Jesco Bernard. Jesco Bernard. Uh, so deserving. Uh, like I said, we jumped on the ice. Um, when Corey told me that in the car, that <laughs> if they <laughs> if they were to win, they were like, Corey, they want you on the ice with a camera. And I was like, what? <laughs> because uh, people don't know this mummy. I have the flattest feet ever. Like everything touches. I've always had feet problem, back problems. I'm a mess. And I can <laughs> barely walk, let alone walk on ice. So that was nerve wracking going there and talking to the player. Nothing of that m- mattered to me. It was the whole walking on ice part, but uh, went off without a hitch and uh, was almost dreamlike. Um, was when you jump on the ice, it's so white, and you look around and you're like, Jesus Christ, man, this is what they see every time they jump on the ice. It's 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 breathtaking. It's like going into a large forest and seeing mountains almost. It was super cool. The players were super cool. Management was super cool. Um, you felt so good for them. But then there's the other side of the coins and your friends from Doketown, the team from Doketown that worked so hard to see their disappointment. Um, you know, that's the double-edged sword of doing a podcast like this because you're a fan of both teams. You have friends on both sides. You have you respect both teams very much for what they've accomplished. One has to win, one has to lose. So you feel ecstatic for one team, and you kind of feel miserable for the other team. Uh, Adam Story, uh, Kristen Story, a little story, their girl Lily, uh, their son, uh, great friends of the podcast, you know, felt bad for them. Richard and Chantel and their kids felt bad for them because – Literally an hour and a half before the game, we spent at a table in the hot room talking with them. Uh, they're they're some of our best friends now, uh, so you feel bad for them. You really do. But it's the way it is. It's senior hockey. There needed to be a champion, and it happened to be that night. Um, I agree with you. I think there's the the, the definitely the feeling. You know, you feel bad for the Jacks. Feel bad for the fans of the Jacks. It's been a long season. It's been an amazing season, but there's got to be a lot of pride there. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, they should be. They should be so proud of how they played. Those fans, um, some great people, and uh, yep. man, hell of a burger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I- but with Dalhousie, I mean, you know, uh, well deserved. Uh, they've been just phenomenal all season. Mm-hmm. They worked so hard. Very clear early on that they were a contender. Yeah. Apparently, more than that, they're a champion. Yeah. So, um, yeah, congrats to, to the team. It was pretty amazing. 
to the team, um, to management. Um, you know, I, I got to signal out three people that to me, when we were, and we're still nothing, we're just two goofballs doing a podcast, you know, we're, we're nothing special, but we enjoy what we do. But three guys from Dalhousie that really felt that we were something special, uh, Mark Giroux, Eric Peltier, and Travis Robichaud. Um, these three guys um, gave us a chance when very few did. Uh, a lot, a few people did give us a chance from other teams, but when it came to going to Dalhousie, Eric's at the door. Podcast boys are here. Welcome to Dalhousie. Have fun. If you got any questions? Come to us. Mark Giroux would always come and find us, have conversations with us, not even about hockey all, most of the time, just life in general. And Travis would always look out for us. So to these three, you know, thank you very much for being so cool to us. Yeah, absolutely, man. There's a lot of thank yous coming up in this episode, I think. Yeah. Um, slightly organized. We have uh, we don't keep notes all the time. We've got notes tonight because we didn't want to. We're going to forget someone. We're going to forget someone. But uh, we don't want to, so we're trying. Um, man, what a night, though. Walking out there on the ice, uh, talking with the boys, seeing those guys, how happy they were. You couldn't help but feel, you'd be filled with joy for them. Yeah. How hard they worked. Um, especially Eric Peltier, man, interviewing Eric Peltier. And I'm going to cut out some of those interviews from the stream and put them at the end of this episode. So if you haven't checked it out, they're going to go on my Facebook page. They're going to go on this episode. Um, so, you know, they're, they were heat of the moment. They're passionate. And I think they're really beautiful. Mm -hmm. But uh, Eric Peltier really was moving to see how mm -hmm. happy that he was. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'll never forget that moment. So, yeah. Um, Congrats to the Dalhousie Marauders, man. Well-deserved, hard, hard thing. This isn't an easy league to win. There's a lot yeah. of talented players, man. Yeah. Every team can compete. And uh, to come out on top is really something. So, uh, yeah, they've got a lot to be proud of. Those fans, uh, congratulations to all of you, because none of this is possible without the fans of these teams supporting yeah. them, uh, helping them, you know, get up and keep going. So, um, wow, just congratulations. What an amazing season. Um, Corey, want to get in some thank yous? Thank yous. Yes, we will. Um, do you want to start? I can start. You can start. I can start. We'll start. I can start. I'll start with some personal ones. Um, you know, I think first and foremost, I'm going to thank you, Corey. No, thank you. Um, from day one, bringing you on, you were a team player. And I think that's the number one thing, man, just a team player. Anything I asked, you were there, never said no, started streaming. Corey, you want to run the stream? Yep. Straight away. Never missed a Tuesday. Episode, never missed a Monday night recording. Never missed a Wednesday night recording. Uh, went to, man, just random places when we'd split <laughs> up and go to different towns for hockey. Uh, this was a hell of a sacrifice. I don't think I could have done it without you, man. I really appreciate it. And I'll share a story right now. Um brought Corey on late August, September, something like that. I kind of started dabbling with it in July, August. And I was like, I need, I need someone. I need something. And Corey and I are both part of wrestling with the bros. So I knew he was the guy. And uh, he graciously said, yes. And in like mid September, right before the steamers opening game, I uh, got a message from somebody in Dalhousie. I don't even remember who it was. If I could remember you, I'd shout you out. But I was like, man, I got to start reaching out to these teams and get some interviews lined up. So that day, I shot a message to every team. I'm nothing. We have like 80 followers. And I'm messaging teams, hey, I'm from the BSHL podcast. I'm sure you've heard of me. Why would <laughs> I be sure they've heard of me? I mean, I was nothing. But uh, I was confident, and I knew what I wanted. I had a vision, and I was going for it. So I shot some messages out to all the teams and uh, met up with Corey to go to the Steamers game that night. And I said, Corey, let's go grab some food at Pizza Light for the game. Yeah, right on, man. Perfect. Corey loves a good garlic finger, so he didn't say no. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> go out to the game, go to Pizza Light, and I'm like, Corey, man, I've got something to tell you. And he's like, what's that? And I just turned my phone. I was showing him responses from uh, from Trey Lewis, responses from Trackety, responses from Miramichi, 
just all the teams responses from the coal miners, from the marauders. Uh, teams are reaching back out to me going, hey, man, yeah, great. We've heard of you. Uh, we'd love to do it and then trying to find a time. And from day one, that that's when it, like, it felt real. It was like, oh, shit. And I think I, I can see the panic in Corey's eyes because he was like, I have a lunatic that is guiding the ship. <laughs> he, is, he is not going to stop. And I didn't. And it worked out uh, from day one, man. It's uh, none of this would be possible without you. You're a huge part of this, you know. I love you, and thanks for everything, brother. Thank you. Uh, I've said it multiple times. It. I really appreciate those words. You don't know how much I love you as a brother. Uh, you're you're not a friend. You're your family to me. I mean that with all sincerity. You, I think the world of you. Yep. Uh, this sure. is not possible without Corey Robichaud. This guy's a workhorse. This guy would not take no for an answer. This guy built the podcast up, built the Facebook up, and we got a team behind us. Without the captain at the head of the ship, steering in the right direction, this ain't going nowhere. So the kind words are so much appreciated. I, I had the time of my life, but the ace here and the number one guy, the fans of the podcast, of the Facebook page, should thank is Corey Robichaud because he's the man. So thank you, Corey. Yeah, thanks, brother. My uh, my pleasure. I'm glad you were with me for it. And it's just the beginning, right? Just the beginning. That only was only from here. <laughs> only season one of Mini. Oh, God help us all. Yeah, I know it's going to be crazy. Um, next, we'll, we'll I'll thank Cheryl uh, for everything uh, for driving to so many games. Man, she drove. She supported everything we did. She watched every episode. I don't even know if I listened to every episode on YouTube, but Cheryl listened to every episode. Uh, she took these videos. She edited so many clips for me. I'd never have the time to do it all on my own. So um, just hours, endless hours. Um, so many people have seen those videos. Millions of people have seen the videos that Cheryl's taken. So yep. she should be pretty proud of that. It's uh, Man, she's just a huge piece. And uh, she helped elevate the league. I think that's the yep. key thing. Everybody owes a debt of gratitude to Cheryl because yep. she helped put the league out there and elevate the league more and more she, as the year went on. It was truly amazing. She thinks I'm screwing with her when I say. <laughs> you you yeah. would never do that. No, but when I tell her you're probably the most popular on the podcast, she th ah, <laughs> shut up, shut up. I am not joking. Uh, the the locker room creeper. The locker room creeper, Nashville hot chicken. Uh, but seriously, the numbers started to go up with Cheryl's videos. You watch her at a game, she's laser focused. She is there to do her job, and she does it so well. I'm always going to remember the moment I realized, oh, we got something special with Cheryl here, is that game in Miramichi versus Buck Douche, the big hit. Yep, behind the net. Probably still my favorite video that she took. She, perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Just everything. Um, just grateful that we had her on board. Absolutely. Very grateful. Um, second personal thank is uh, my girlfriend, Tracy, the graphics wizard. Um, it's it's not only the graphics. It's It's all the work but it's also putting up with my bullshit. <laughs> I mean, just straight up putting up with my shit. Um, this was, I work full time proudly at hospice SEMB in Moncton, New Brunswick. If you're looking for a charity to donate money to hospice SEMB, we help families from all around Southeastern New Brunswick. I'm fiercely proud of what we do, but uh, it's also taxing work. And then I'm doing the podcast, which is time consuming and taxing and fun and amazing so she had to put up with a lot of a lot of stuff i wouldn't be able to do this without her support and uh, her graphics are amazing she's got skills she helped elevate us as well makes us look so professional so uh, you know thank you tracy i love you truly the best it's funny because tracy as of right now we have wrestling with the bros bshl i have the maritime warrior uh, my own YouTube channel, just my little thing to do once we've done the the more important stuff. Uh, Tracy's the only one that can lay claim to be on the Maritime Warrior because she does all my graphics as well. 
she sure. does the graphics for our wrestling with the bros interviews. Um, she's on social media. I've called her the social media wizard as well, because it's funny how everybody just found a part that fit them. And not only they didn't give it a hundred percent, they gave it 200%. They just focused on that. And Tracy, you know, your hard work has not gone unnoticed. You know, we thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, the last person, the last member of the team, the person that joined the, la- the latest, but became a pretty huge piece. Uh, my mom. Yep. Mama podcast. Mama podcast. Uh, probably the clear headed one of the bunch. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair because uh, she has the best hair. Absolutely. Well, she's the only one not losing hair. I don't think Cheryl's losing hair either, but Tracy, Tracy's losing all the hair. Tracy's losing all her hair. Yeah, there, yeah, there we go. go. Uh, now she uh, she became almost a. I'm trying to find the perfect word here. She became almost a mother. She she's the mother of the podcast, but she became this. If you have something that you have to talk about. She's the ear to listen to, to listen to you. She, like, if there was a problem somewhere that happened in the league or something that just, you know, something just irked at you, Mama Podcast is there and, you know, things like that happen, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. She just, I don't know what we would have done, especially in the playoffs, uh, writing notes, and all that. She started editing videos in the end. Editing she now videos. edits videos. Um, trims them. She trims them up for me, cuts them, and then I f- edit them final touch. But she saves me hours. She's yeah. amazing. Amazing. Um, you know, a mother figure to me, one of my best friends as well, uh, along with Papa Podcast, uh, Bob. <laughs> um, you know, I think the world of these two, I think the world of your family, honestly. <laughs> um just uh, had amazing moments, amazing time, amazing laughs. Oh, yeah. uh, your mother is <laughs> friggin' hilarious. Jack and Corey. <laughs> Jack and Corey. That was something. <laughs> That's a story that we will share one day. One day. Um, man, let's uh, let's get into thanking some teams. You want to start? I'll, or you uh, want me to start? I'll start it up. Um, first, I'm gonna start to start by thanking the Dalhousie Marauders. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on your win. But, um, man, these people, they're just amazing. They're just the nicest people. Um, Alexander Popoff Morrison, Tammy Morrison, their support of the podcast, uh, just from day one, they're they're just the best, man. That shout-out on the podcast, on the PA, that first time we went to Dial, never going to forget that moment. That was, it was terrifying. That was terrifying. I was so scared in that moment. I was like, oh, shit. This is, it was another one of those, like, oh, this is real. But it was appreciated. And, uh, man, Dallas is just the best. I love that. I have just this special place in my heart for that town. Um, Travis, that bastard. Um, <laughs> Travis Robert Show. He's become a friend, man, as much as a GM and a guest on the show. Just a good friend. And uh, I really appreciate him. I appreciate all the conversations. Um, yeah, we've shared shit with that with each other that I would never put out in public, and he would never put out in public. We became like this, like yeah, man. We've uh, we had each other's back. We talked a lot. So, uh, man, I love Trav. Great dude. Um, Eric Peltier, you thanked him earlier, but uh, man, Mister Peltier, everything he's done for senior hockey, um, is unbelievable. And seeing the emotion when he was talking with us last night. Just, I'm so happy for him, and I thank him so much for the support of the podcast. He likes everything we do. He shares everything we do. This guy's the best, man. He's such a nice dude. Just so happy for him and so appreciative. Um, Things that he said to us after game six, you know, um, uh, it just meant a lot. Our goal was to elevate this league and to legitimize it. Not to make a joke out of it or post videos that were laughing at it. We thought it was a very, it's a serious league with a lot of talented people, 
A lot of money's invested, and it's great, great hockey in your own backyard. Get out and check it out. And if Eric Peltier feels that we did that, mission accomplished this year, Corey. That's yeah, my absolutely. opinion. Um, so those words just meant the world to me. Um, I'd like to thank Mark Giroux, another early supporter with the best smile in the league. <laughs> just yeah. the best, man. Always smiling, always happy. Uh, great voice on that PA. He's just the yeah. best, man. Mark's a nice dude. Yeah, uh, We really... He's Tracy's favorite. I don't know. She told me that. She's like, you know who I love, man? I love Mark Giroux. He's always so nice to me. I'm like, yep. oh, okay. That's interesting. Mark Giroux. So, Mark, you're Tracy's favorite. She loves you. You're just so kind, and I appreciate how kind you were to the, the podcast team, all of you from Dalhousie. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Jessica coming on, giving us that interview. It was huge. Uh, he was so generous with his time. His answers were the best, man. It, it was just unbelievable. And uh, Robert Peltier did that locker room interview with Bob. What a guy. Uh, man, so happy for him that they won this cup. Um, thanks to Joy Bernard for coming on. That was a fun interview, Corey. That was a, that was a guy, man. Yep. He's awesome. One of my uh, favorites. seen him last night. He was so happy. It was so nice to see him again. So, uh, yeah, I'm just so happy for Joey, man. Good for him. And uh, Sam jean came on and gave us a, an interview. And, uh, man, you know, best defenseman in the league, Corey. Thibault. Thibault. Um, what an interview he gave us. And uh, just what a guy. What a series. What a playoffs that guy played, too. Yeah. We're very happy for him. Congratulations to all these guys. But thanks to all those guys for uh, for giving us their time and helping us grow, and uh, everything they did. It would be impossible without all these teams. Yeah. So you did Dalhousie. I'm going to turn this over to the River Valley Lumberjacks. Um, You know, there are a few guys that gave us a moment of their time, and there are some guys that gave us even more, just became buddies of ours. Uh, First one on my list, Tyson Donovan. Uh, Came multiple times. Uh, some at a Miramichi game, like this guy loves hockey, uh, enjoyed what we did. Um, we, I, I, I'm, I feel horrible that he wasn't able to play. He got injured. Um, but Tyson Donovan, uh, really appreciate you coming on, uh, and being so kind to us. Uh, John Hardy, he, uh, you interviewed him in the locker room. Um, just another great guy. Uh, thank you for the time. Uh, a personal one for me, just this guy, Every time I, I see him now, it's a fist bump. Uh, Calvin Furlong. Uh, he he saw me at an LC Games. Like, yeah, hey, you're Corey, right? And ever since then, uh, just one of the greatest guys. Fun to talk with. Um, you know, it, it's these guys and the entire team that you feel bad that they didn't go all the way. But, you know, they accomplished so much. No one pegged them to go to the finals, and they did. They proved everybody wrong. They beat the big bad Hawks. They beat Miramichi. They came two games short against Dalhousie, who was unbelievable this year. Um, You know, for River Valley fans, for the Story family, for Richard and Chantel, for these great friends that we've made in Doaktown, River Valley is going to be a powerful team to beat next year. So don't take this as a loss. Take this as a learning experience and just think next year it's going to be better. Absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll take the mirror machine Northman. Sure. Um, I'll start with Chris Keating. Gave us a heck of an interview and uh, it was just a nice guy. Big supporter of the podcast. Um, he's now sporting one of our hoodies. Gotta love that. You love it. Um, yeah. I love Chris, man. He's a good dude. Thanks to David Morrison. He gave us a lot of his time. Um, he's a fantastic guy. Great interviews. Um, good conversations, too, at games or texting. Just a good brain. Good guy to talk to about hockey. So uh, appreciate all your time, David. And, you know, got to save the best for last, man. I love Nick Foran. Nick, Nick is great. a beast, man. He's uh, this terrifying, intimidating guy on the ice. And then you meet him, and he's like the nicest guy in the world. Um, yep. His stories that he shared with us in that interview were 
man, amazing, amazing. And uh, yeah, thanks to Nick. Thanks to the Northland organization for everything they did. Sophie Savoy, all of the game day staff. Um, they're just class act, great organization. We can't wait to get back to Mary this fall. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take over for the Hawks. Okay. The Elsie Puck Duck Hawks. Uh, I'm going to start off with Daniel Crate. Uh, he gave us an interview. Uh, every time we'd see him anywhere, he'd give us a fizz bump. Hey guys, love what you do. Uh, so Daniel Crate, Crate Zilla. Uh, I will die on that hill. That will get over Crate Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> um, also Mackenzie Brown. Mackenzie Brown gave us a locker room interview. Um, you know, one of the best players, both these guys, two of the best players in the league. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see what the Hawks are like next year. And uh, save the best for last, like you did last. Um, you know, you never forget your first. Uh, <laughs> the first guy that gave us a chance is Trey Lewis. Um, we've interviewed him twice. I got starstruck both times. I hate to sound like a <laughs> mark, but... There's some we we've interviewed wrestlers and I've had no problem. <laughs> Trey Lewis gets on and I freeze. Um, it's, it's the goatee. It's the goatee. Uh, Trey Lewis is a class act. Uh, someone that I have like everybody in this league. I have so much respect. But you know Trey Lewis when we were again he's the first. He's the first <laughs> that gave us a chance. Um, being from Rishibaktu, knowing all these fans of the Hawks and all that, you know, knowing that Trey Lewis gave us the time of day, knowing what Trey Lewis has accomplished in the world of hockey. Um, you know, again, it's humbling to, to, to have a guy like that. So to Trey Lewis, to Mac Brown, to Daniel Crate, to the entire Hawks organization, uh, to the fans, to Rishi Buktu, Rexton, Elsie, San Luis, San Chal, every from that area, you know, you know, thank you. Um, I am going to take the Spring Hill Coal Miners. Um, we had some fun interviews with those guys, man. They announced an ownership change yep. on the podcast. That was amazing. Um, so, you know, thanks to Parker Deegan. Um, what a guy. I can't believe that he gave us that opportunity and trusted us with it. I'll never forget it. And, um, uh, trust me, anything they need, we're always here. Yep. Uh, Matt Colson. Give us a heck of an interview. It was a really fun interview. Um, I really enjoyed just sitting and having a chat with him. Nice dude. And uh, another guy that's become a pretty good friend of ours, uh, Connor Smith. Connor Smith, yeah. Uh, Connor's a buddy. Connor's like a Travis Roberts show for us. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we talk. He's just a good guy. Great hockey brain again. We've talked so much hockey. Uh, yeah, we love, we love coal miners. Can't wait to get back to... To Spring Hill, can we get back to Nova Scotia? Really craving some paisanos. <laughs> Might have to go there this summer. Yep. I'm looking forward to that wrestling show in Spring Hill just to get some paisanos, to be honest with you. Can't wait. Um, thanks to the miners, man. Great team. So um, I'm going to take the JCs. Um, once we got Trey Lewis on the podcast, next mission was the next closest team. Because you start – baby steps, you know, and we went to, uh, a practice for the JCs <laughs> and that night we had, I believe four interviews. So first up, we want to thank, uh, Jeanette Duaro. Um, she came up to us. She was always nice. She, uh, the second team to give us a shout out on the PA. Um, she was cl first class with us. Um, always appreciated her kindness. Uh, second one, Probably the biggest one other than Trey Lewis that came on at that point in time was Alex Collette. Uh, one of our favorites, my favorite JC. Um, it was super cool. He gave us a few minutes of his time and then he came back and gave us even more time. So I really appreciate that. Also that night we got Remy Odu uh, and Dan LeBlanc. So that was the night I mean, that uh, what's your favorite ring food was born. <laughs> that was a that was a special night. Well, I, was, I remember I was just standing there on the bench, thinking, "Oh shit, oh shit!" I'm about to interview these guys, and I was like, "You know what? I'm going to ask them what their favorite rink food is." And that kind of became a thing over the course of the year. Uh, not less so in the playoffs, because there was just uh, we we kept those ones short. 
and we got to the point of talking about that round. But uh, trust me, best favorite ring food will be back next season. Oh yeah, uh, but uh, thank you to the JC's organization. Um, you know, it it's the second closest to us. Yep. Uh, when I'm at my mom's, it's the closest actually. Um, so yeah, the JC's they were first class. Uh, a big thank you to them. Absolutely. Um, I'll take shipping in. All right. So, uh, you know, Patrick Jones, man, what a guy. Um, the best. He gave us so much of his time. Came on twice on these longer form interviews, gave me a locker room interview. Always happy to see us. Um, another guy who's sporting a BSHL podcast hoodie. There's a few others yeah. in the league that grabbed some. We really, really appreciate that. Yeah, and I actually got a picture of Patrick in Quebec at a tournament, wearing his uh, BSHL podcast hoodie, and that meant the world to me. I was like, man, that guy's repping us so, uh, so humbling, so cool. And uh, Sal Shashi gave us a lot of his time, very generous with us, and we certainly appreciate that. Absolutely. But uh, when I think shipping in, can't help but think Patrick Jones. What a guy. Yeah. The last uh, one, Corey, is uh, it's an emotional one for us. For us, it is a very emotional one because there's one guy really from Trackety that we saw play one night. Was it we were impressed? Then all of a sudden, he said he'd like to come on, and he gave us my favorite interview. <laughs> and unfortunately, not unfortunately, you know, he did his time in hockey, and he retired. Uh, that's Charles Austin, a uh, friend for life for us. Um, just gave us so much in that interview. Uh, another milestone, in my opinion, for the podcast, because this guy played, what, almost 20 seasons in hockey? Yep. I've been watching him since I was a kid, man, like a teenager. Yeah. I feel like I was a baby. He probably felt like a baby back then playing senior, though, to be fair. My God. <laughs> Uh, just one of the nicest guys we've ever met. Um, I'll never forget the first game we went to in Trackety. A hockey player's on the ice. He's focused. He's laser focused. This guy <laughs> took a second to nod his head at us and wave hello. Appreciate you guys coming all the way to Trackety for this. Um, that's just the type of guy that Charles Austin is. He's first class. Um, just uh, I, I hope to, to see him again not only on the podcast, but in person and just shake his hand and thank him for everything he's done for us. Yeah, I hope to have him back on the podcast. He's got an open door. Anytime he wants to come on, I love his stories and I want to hear more of them because that guy is, he's hilarious and he's just so good, man. Such a yeah. nice guy. Um, I'm going to start thanking some fans. Um, first, I can't start this without thanking one of the biggest supporters of the podcast yeah. from day one. He, he outranked me, by the way. He he was here before Corey. Yeah. He uh he he started as a supporter, shared some fights vi videos with me and some pictures with me, whatever I wanted to use. And then over time, he became a really good friend, Ricky Bass Rash, Man, um, this guy is awesome. He's so funny. He's uh, such a great hockey brain. He knows so much about senior hockey, and he's just been so generous with us. I've got footage from games that he taped with us that I haven't even gone through because I haven't had time. There's so much good content there. I've just started to siphon through it and post a little bit of it. There's going to be so much more coming. Took this super high quality video for us. Um, you'll be seeing some of that all summer, but uh, yeah, Ricky Bass Rash, man, just thank you for everything. And uh, we can't wait to see you at the steamers game coming up. Actually, we'll probably yep. see him in the steamers game. Yep. Um, uh, let's go back to Dalhousie. I'd like to thank, uh, Mathieu, Carlo, Jason, a um, bunch of Dal crew people. Just, uh, yeah, man, a lot of really, really good people at Dalhousie. Um, we love those guys, man. Uh, you want to grab River Valley? River Valley, um, uh, we, we, there's there's a lot. We've already mentioned them, but the Story family. Adam Story, Kristen Story, Lily Story, um, I never learned their son's name, but uh, Son Story. Son Story. Uh, son story. story, son. Um, thank you for your friendship. Uh, thank you for uh, making us feel like we're from Dope Town. Uh, the laughter and everything. Um, the rum, 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 rum. 
Um, just uh, thank you for for being such cool people. Uh, I feel like we made friends for life with them. Um, Richard and uh, Chantel, uh, two more uh, friends for life. We we sat down and we sat for an hour and a half talking just life. Um, one more here, Burger Lady Alana Carroll. Um, yeah. Just just the nicest lady. Um, she's going through a hard time right now. Uh, thoughts are with you, my girl. Uh, just the people of dope town are such good people. And, uh, we've made these friends. I think it's the one place we've made. I think it's funny because I think Dalhousie and dope town, we've made the most friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 Another one from Dalhousie, Carly West has uh, become a good friend of the podcast. She's awesome. Uh, Always a big smile when we see her in Dal. Uh, Mark McGraw out of Miramichi. Um, Just a lot of people. Personal one, Charles, a Hawks fan. You're a good buddy. Good friend of mine. Uh, We love that guy. And a ton of people in Richmond. That's not fair. We know so many people here. You're talking Uh, about Sal Delory, right? Oh, yeah. Shal Delory, that that's uh, one of my best friends. A big shout out to Shal. Uh, he listens to the podcast every week, so he's gonna love hearing that. Um, got one here. Um, uh, Joel Gallo, um, our wrestling oh, with the dude, bros. That's more than a, a fr- that's more than a friend. That's family. That's family. He's, our right mod. he's uh, helped us a ton. Helped us grow. Encouraged us from day one. Gave me yep. so many videos. Um, I was definitely, I was actually saving him for a little later, but oh. we'll go with him right now. Yeah. Joel's special, man. Joel's a guy known him for years. Uh, went and saw some terrible wrestling and some great <laughs> wrestling with Joel, but, uh, yeah, we love Joel, man. He's the best. He's such uh, a good dude. He, I think Joel is on the same level as you when it comes to my, my, um, my brothers, like my family, like you're not, you're not friends. You two are brothers. I, I would take a bullet for both you guys. Uh, you're on equal footings, in my opinion. I think the world of both you guys. Uh, Joel jumped in as the moderator. He got a stream deck. He's ready, and he's <laughs> just like – he's talking with the – like he's made friends in the chat with everybody. Uh, an absolute warrior. You know, he's doing Jolteon plays. He's doing wrestling with the bros. Uh, he's doing the moderation for the BSHL. Uh, next season, I'm really hoping he comes out to a game with us. Um, it, last year, he was part of the Hawks crew with us that went to most of the Hawks game. Now this year, he didn't he didn't have the the means to go to the games. Uh, you know, times are tough, but uh, you know, we missed you at the games, but you were there in in moderation. So, you know, love you, brother, and thank you so much. My uh, my last one is Foster Augustine. Yeah, all Foster. I love Foster, yeah. man. He's so generous, it's so a great kind. Guy. Uh, he supports us, shoots me a message every now and then, telling me he's watching the streams. Uh, we appreciate you, man. Yeah, and uh, Foster, uh, someone that we started, I started talking with her first time this year. Um, just such a wonderful guy. Just love him to death. Uh, thank you. Thank you for, for uh, just being a buddy. Yeah, man. Um and that's all I got, Corey. You got anybody else? Uh, I'm sure we forgot somebody. Uh, oh, we you, forgot uh, people. We forgot people. We forgot for people. Sure. I'm, uh, I'm, I've accepted. I've long since accepted that we're going to miss somebody in this. Uh, there's just not much we can do. But uh, thanks to all the listeners, all the supporters, um, supporters of this league. None of this becomes a reality without all the fans of all the teams and the people that have tr- taken the time to join our Facebook group or watch the streams, watch the videos like and share and do all that good stuff it uh, it helps and it's been a wild ride it's been an amazing season and uh, we're not there's no off season for us we're gonna plow through we're gonna keep going we have interviews coming up this summer uh we are gonna be changing the schedule a little bit um we're gonna drop it down to once a week for the summer and we'll go back to two episodes a week uh come october when the season starts but uh in the future, we haven't decided yet if it's going to be Tuesdays or Thursdays. Um, I guess you'll find out if there's no episode on Tuesday next week. <laughs> assume that it's on Thursday. <laughs> we haven't just we haven't talked about what day we want to do it, but uh, yeah, we'll be here this summer. We're, we plan on getting to some senior baseball and uh, going to eat some Chig's pizza, 
And uh, I think if we spend the whole summer and we don't go get chigs for Cheryl, she's going to become just impossible to deal with. <laughs> so uh, I think maybe we'll walk, we'll pop by the inch, Aaron, and go inside so Cheryl can walk into the locker room just so she can feel at home again. There you go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we'll be around this this summer, man. We're gonna we're gonna check out some races. We got some buddies that race now. Uh, we're gonna check out some senior baseball. A lot of the boys play baseball so we'll be at some of the games supporting you guys there too and uh we're looking forward to it can't wait to do it can't wait to get out there this summer and we will be here every week with an episode yep. and it's gonna be a little different we ain't always gonna be talking to hockey sometimes we'll be talking life sometimes we'll be talking baseball and we're gonna have some really good interviews though yep. we've got some really fun people lined up so um you know hopefully you guys keep tuning in and we really appreciate your support so thank you all yeah thank you everybody uh Hard to believe that it's over. The season is yeah, over. We have a champion. It's a little sad. Congrats to the Dalhousie Marauders. Yeah. Uh, the, the the car ride home was a little surreal because we, I kept thinking to myself, I was still in, we're going to Dalhousie tomorrow mode. Yeah. And uh, we're not in Dalhousie right now. We're home. Um, yep. You know, we. Uh, I'm not too upset about that. I'm, I'm glad to be resting a little bit. I do love Dalhousie. I'm but. glad be resting as well but uh you know go check out the stream from last night um you know the streaming of every game that was a playoff thing um for next season you know we'll we'll talk more as the season approaches but you know we we can't go every single weekend to every single game. There are some weeks, guess what? It's going to be a Buck Tusher and Elsie game because they're they're the closest and that's it. There's some weeks we're going to go balls to the wall. We're going to be in Miramichi. We're going to be in Spring Hill. We're going to be in Elsie. We're going to be Buck Tusher. We're going to be everywhere. Um, Dalhousie. Dalhousie. There you go. Um, but don't expect it every week. Just want to make that clear to the people. This... this was an honor to do. Uh, I am so happy that people appreciate what we did. It, it was hard. It was very hard. Um, would not change a thing. For the playoffs, playoffs are special. We, we Oh, yeah, we'll be going again come playoffs next year for sure. We'll be pushing it. But, uh, yeah, for sure. Regular season, especially early in the regular season, we'll start slow, build up as we go, and uh, we'll be everywhere getting some video. We'll have some live streams, but uh, we'll just be trying to capture a lot of video and post it afterwards yeah. and stuff. We uh, the streams are a lot of work, but they're they're appreciated, and you will be seeing some live streams. We might come up with a new formula for the regular season. That, that maybe we'll like say. maybe we'll stream the third period for some games, or I'm not sure. We'll come up with something. I don't know if we'll, we're gonna stream. We'll see what the fans want to do. I don't know if we're gonna stream. If if I'm doing the stream, uh, I'm gonna want to do all the entire game. That that's just me. I I'd like to do the entire stream. Uh, you had a great idea. I don't know if you want to talk about this on the podcast or not, but you have a few good ideas that you know we'll we'll talk about. We'll see what the streams look like next year. Maybe there'll be a more official stream, or we're not sure. But yeah. uh, if there isn't, I think we're probably going to be streaming again. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a fun way for fans to pick what game we're going to stream. Yeah. Let's uh, let's start that way. Yeah. Um, lots of big ideas about. coming, lots of fun stuff coming. But for now, thank you all for your support. It was an amazing playoff run, and we'll be back on Tuesday. But for now, um, see you soon. Take care. How great does this feel? We're live on YouTube right it's now. Fucking, oh, sorry. It's my Jordan language. Morrison. It's awesome. Bart. This is what we're for all year. We fucking did it. Fucking right. I can't wait to celebrate with the boys. Congratulations, hey, man. Hey, hey, thanks. Thank you guys for all the work you guys did this no year. No problem. Uh, getting our league out there, all the coverage you guys did. We you know, appreciate we you guys, guys so fucking oh, yeah. much. You guys, you guys are, are awesome. always welcome into Dalhousie. Thank you for everything. Eric, yeah, come here. Come here, Eric. Eric Peltier. Um, how's this feel, buddy? This is so exciting. Five years. I've been helping senior hockey. Finally, we didn't see get, the emotion. We didn't get screwed by COVID this year. The guys played with heart. They played as a team. They have chemistry, and the atmosphere with this group is the best. It's the best. That's why we won because we have the best group. Thank you very much.
much, Corey. Thank you very much, Thank Corey. Thank you. Travis? Congratulations, Thank Travis. You. I told you we were going to get it, eh? <laughs> I told you, eh? <laughs> Travis, um, you become a good friend of the podcast. You guys did it. We did it, How's it feel? Ah, uh, feels great. Feels great. I'm speechless. And I hate interviews, so. You're doing great. You look, you look fantastic. Right Almost as good as me. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, we talked. You weren't nervous before this game. You told me you were excited. Yeah. Why were you excited? Confident, you said. Confident. And then I got nervous. And now I'm happy. And now you feel. Oh, I feel great, man. I feel great. Congrats. And now I'm thirsty, so. It's beer time. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Joey Bernard. Joey Bernard, champion. Your ass off with Marauders for five years. Yes. Been since day one. Day one, buddy. How's this feel? It's a long journey. It's, it's we wanted it first year, second year, but like I told you the other day, it's, it's, it's a long journey, but we finally got a great group of guys. You guys see this, we're on the road. It feels like we're home. It's, it's unreal. Your fans are here, your fans are watching. Yes. What do you have to say to them? I'm speechless. Thank you for, since day one, the best, best fans in the league have said it's day one. Thank you for everything, guys. We're bringing the cup home. Let's celebrate home. Do it, Thank you. See you guys later. Congratulations, man. Thank you. What a ride. What a ride, man. Pop off, what do you have to say? We've got to we've got about a thousand people watching on here today. Oh my God. Bob, how's it just, it's a crazy, crazy dream and a crazy plan we had, and everything worked out. And I'm just like, so happy. So pleased. You guys are amazing, amazing, amazing set of volunteers, you know. I mean, I couldn't ask for better. Congrats, brother. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for everything you guys do, too. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I think we've seen it all. Um, thanks for being here, guys. We're going to end the stream. But uh, it's been a hell of a year. We'll be back in the fall. Marauders win the cup. Fuck yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right, take care, guys. Thanks, Corey. Thank you. Thank you guys so much.